well and staying safe. I hope you have a lovely holiday season and you're ready to look forward to new things in a new year. So let's begin by being in a seated comfortable position. <laughs> Whatever that means to you. If you want to sit on a cushion, sit on a blanket, whatever feels right. So let's just put our hands on our knees this morning. Close the eyes and be aware of your breath. So just taking some deep breaths, a deep inhalation, and then a slow, slow exhalation. And as you're aware of your breath, Notice how it takes attention away from your thinking and it creates space. Just welcoming the morning, a new day, and a new year. And whatever that's going to mean to you. Everybody. <laughs> it's nice to have you here. So let's just come into the our seated comfortable position. We're kind of breathing naturally now. And as you inhale, let's bring the arms up nice and tall and then nice and wide. Think you're welcoming a brand new day. A brand new year. Breathe. Take the arms back, just rolling the shoulders back, and just getting the shoulder blades as close to each other as you possibly can. Dropping the shoulders down your back, lifting the heart. Good. And then inhale, taking the arms up again. Nice and wide. Nice deep breath here. And then take the arms back, bring those shoulder blades together as much as possible, keeping a nice tall spine, lifting the heart. Good. We'll do one more. So as you inhale, taking the arms up and out, deep breath here. Exhale, bring the arms back down. Bring those shoulder blades together one more time. Good. And hold and breathe. Beautiful. And then release and bring your hands back to your knees. So let's take the, the shoulders up and around. So as you inhale, just bring the shoulders up. Feel your shoulder blades. Feel them just rolling down your back as your chest comes up. You're lifting your heart. Feel all that connection there in your spine, in the neck, the shoulders. Inhale, taking the shoulders up, dropping them down your back as you exhale. And just kind of put your whole body into it from here, from the, from the waist up. Deep rolls. All the tension just kind of roll out of your body. Nice deep breaths. Feeling our alignment and creating space. Good. And then just rest right here. So let's take the right hand to the left temple and gently press the head towards the right shoulder, opening up the left side of the neck. Take a deep breath down into the left side of the neck. Good. And relax.
relax the right hand to the right knee. Take that left hand over to the right temple, stretching the right side of your neck and breathing down into it. Good. Oh, that feels so good. And then bring your head back up. So now let's take the hands to the shoulders. Elbows are parallel to the floor. And start with little circles here, keeping the spine nice and long. Little circles, breathing. And maybe in the opposite direction, taking the circles a little bit wider. Continuing to relax the shoulders. And then let's drop the chin down to the chest and gently roll the head over to the left shoulder. As you exhale, bringing the chin around, the head goes over to the right shoulder. And just breathe and do this on your own. behind us, right behind our hips. And as you inhale, drop the shoulders down your back. Your knees may come up a little bit. Palms are flat on the mat. As you inhale, open the chest. Gently let your head float parallel to the floor, lifting your heart. Pulling the shoulder blades together. Breathe. And then relax the shoulders. As you inhale, bring the arms up. And then gently fold forward here. And we'll pause for a few breaths right here. And then as you're ready, lift that right arm up, looking skyward. Then release it back down to the mat. And as you inhale, lifting the left arm up and out. And then gently bring it back down to the mat. Stretch the spine here, breathing. And then as you're ready, gently walk the hands up toward the body. Lifting the head. Good. So let's come on over to our knees. So we've got our knees and our hips lined up into tabletop. We've got our hands as close under our shoulders as we can. Our fingers are nice and widespread. And let's just stay here in tabletop for just a couple of breaths. Just checking in with the body. How is your body feeling today? And then as you're ready, inhale, drawing the navel to the spine, coming up into cat. Exhale, floating the chest towards the mat. The head comes up with the tailbone. Good. Inhale, coming into Cobra. I mean, I mean Cobra. Hello, how about Cat? At least they both begin with a C, right? Exhale, coming down to Cow. Beautiful. We'll do a couple more of these. Rotating the spine. Back to 
tabletop. Let's extend that right leg out, flexing the right foot. And we'll start here, our legs parallel to the floor. Good. And then as you inhale, let's take the leg up higher. So wherever it's comfortable for you, lifting the entire leg up higher. And hold here. And then gently draw that right knee into the chest. Exhale, take it out to the side. Inhale, bring it back down to the mat. So going over to the left side, as you inhale, extend that left leg out, flexing the left foot, feeling that left leg lengthening and strengthening. And then as you're ready, taking it up higher, maybe a little higher, wherever your edge of flexibility is, working the rotator, uh, the hip sockets, rotating the spine. Exhale, bring the knee into the chest. Inhale, take the knee out to the side. Exhale, bring it back down to the mat. So now as you inhale, let's bring that left arm up and the right leg, you can stay right here on your fingertips with that left arm or you can come up in balance, whichever is comfortable for you and breathe and then bring the left arm down, the right knee comes down to the mat, coming over to the right side, lifting that right arm and the left arm together, and breathe. And then releasing the right arm and the left leg, coming back into tabletop. Good. So let's come into our child's pose. So we've got a wide knee child's pose, nice and wide. And just let the chest drop down towards the mat, extending the arms forward, letting your forehead rest on the mat. Pause here for a couple of breaths. And then when you're ready, let's bend the elbows, bring the palms together at the base of the neck. Pause here and breathe. And then release the hands down to the mat. And as you come up, leaving the hands extended out in front of you, come into puppy dog. So puppy dog, we're bringing these about hip width apart. Hands are extended out further in front of us. And just dropping the head down towards the mat. You can rest your forehead there, or if you want to stay right here, whatever is more comfortable. Coming into puppy dog, bending the elbows. And then as you're ready, walk the hands back just a little bit and we're rotating the spine. So as you inhale, come forward into up dog or tabletop, whichever you prefer. Keeping the elbows kind of tucked in towards the rib cage. Exhale, come back towards your ankles. Beautiful. Just floating back and forth. Breathing. Good. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, coming back. Inhale, coming forward. One more. Exhale, coming back. 
inhale coming forward and holding wherever you are right here take a few breaths keeping those elbows tucked in the rib cage shoulders are soft lengthening and strengthening your arms <laughs> and breathe good good upper body work and then release come back down to child's pose bring the arms along the sides and just rest here let your shoulders melt down towards the mat And then as you're ready, let's come into tabletop. So coming into tabletop, our fingers are nice and widespread, our elbows are, are pointing in towards the, the rib cage. We're gonna tuck the toes. And as you inhale, take those hips back, drop the head between your legs, your shoulders, your legs. Downward facing dog. And then let's come down into plank. So you're going to tuck, tuck your tail just a little bit. Try and be as straight as possible. Good. And then come on down to cobra. And then back into tabletop. Tucking the toes again, getting ready to go back into downward facing dog as we repeat this little scenario. So inhale, hips come back, drop the head between the shoulders, come on down to plank. And then come on into Cobra right here. And then into Sphinx, we're resting on your elbows. Your hands are pointing away from you. Just let your shoulders relax here. Take a deep breath. Rest into Sphinx. And then just gently turn the head to the left and then over to the right good 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 and gently to the left exhale to the right do a couple more inhale left exhale right good last one good so come on down all the way down to, on the mat rest the arms along your sides and just pause here for a breath or two and as you're ready let's inhale and bring up the chest only Rolling the shoulders back, just the chest. Good. And then exhale, come on down to the mat. So now as you inhale, let's just lift the legs. And breathe. Exhale, release the legs. As you're ready, let's bring both the chest and legs up together. So inhale, coming up into full locust. Exhale, release down to the mat and rest on your cheek, either cheek. So now if you'd like, you can grab your ankles or just bring your 
your legs up and just stretch out the hamstrings and quads. Grabbing your ankles or just staying right here. Breathe down into the hamstrings and quads. Nice stretch here. And then if you'd like to come into a boat pose, inhale, bringing chest and the knees up into boat. And breathing. And then exhale, release. Let's come on up into child's pose. And it can be wide knee child's pose or not. Arms in front or not, whatever you're feeling. Neutralizing the spine. And breathe. And then walk your hands back up towards the body. So let's bring that right leg back up into tabletop. We're going to stretch out that right leg and sit on our left hip into our pigeon pose. So you can put a block underneath this left hip to elevate you and kind of take the pressure off the knees. Whatever, you, whatever is feeling good to you. And stretching out that back leg, flexing the spine, this is so good for any kind of back issues. And just breathe. You can also come down onto your elbows and rest the chest on the left knee. Or if you want to come all the way down, rest your forehead on your hands. Or just stay here up dog whatever feels good to you and you have to explore those possibilities and see what works good and staying focused on the breath and being in the present moment knocks out all of that busy monkey mind thinking the here and now. Good. So let's bring that left knee back, come into tabletop, stretch out that left leg, bring that right knee forward, and just rest here on your right hip and scoot something under the right hip if you need to. Stretch out the legs. Just sort of sit right here for a moment. Just shake your legs out a little bit. And as you're ready, bring the arms up and overhead and come on down to your back. Let me scoot down. I'm sure you can see me. There we go. Arms overhead. Drawing the navel toward the spine, stretching out long and tall. Feel the tension in your body as you stretch, stretch, stretch your arms and legs, pointing the feet, reaching.
then relax the arms down to the sides. And just stay right here. Take a few breaths, check in with your body. What's it feeling like? What kind of sensations are you feeling? And then as you're ready, let's bring both legs up into a reclining forward fold and just bring your arms up wherever is comfortable for you. You can bring them up towards the ankles. We're keeping the pelvic floor on the spine. Take a few breaths here. And then as you're ready, just letting the knees, the legs separate, letting them drop open as wide as you can whatever is comfortable for you. You can have your hands on your calves or on your knees, kind of encouraging the stretch and breathe. And feel that nice opening in the hips. Good, breathing. And then bring the legs back toward each other, but not completely together. Hands rest on the mat. Let's take the ankles in little circles. And then maybe back and forth. Give yourself little calf stretches. drop the left leg down to the mat. Let's bend the right leg. Take the palm, take your fingers to the balls of the right foot. Draw the knee close to the body. Left hand is on your left hip, securing it while you're coming into half happy baby. Take a deep breath here. Good. and then release the right leg down to the mat. So let's bring that left leg up, bending the knee, bringing the fingers to the balls of the left foot. The right hand is on your right hip. And take a deep breath down to this left side. And as you're ready, bring the right leg up into full happy baby. The right hand comes to the balls of the right foot, keeping the pelvic floor on the mat, drawing both knees towards the chest, and breathe. Working the hips, opening the hips, keeping them flexible. And then gently release both legs down to the mat. Pause here for a few breaths. Then walk the feet back towards the hips. Good. You can have your arms down at your sides with the, the shoulders roll back right here, or you can clasp your hands underneath. And as you inhale, drawing the hips up skyward, keeping the knees hip width apart, nice, firm, and straight, and breathe. And then gently release down to the mat. 
pause here for a couple of breaths. We're going to repeat that one more time. And as you're ready, inhale, bringing the hips skyward. Knees are firm and straight. Shoulders are roll back. And then gently release and bring the knees to the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze here. And then placing the hands on the knees, let's rotate the spine. We're coming in little circles, rotating the sacrum, sacral spine. Good. And then as you're ready, extend the arms out to the sides and guide the knees over to the right. And if you need to slip a cushion or a block under your knees, that's fine. And turn the head to the left. Deep breath down into the left side. And then when you're ready, guide the knees over to the left, turning the head to the right. And take a few breaths here. Good. And bring the knees to the center, placing the feet on the on the mat, and just guide the knees from left to right. Windshield wipers. Stretch the legs out nice and long. And pause here. Take a breath or two. And then as you're ready, draw your knees towards you. Let them come down onto the mat, pushing yourself up. And then come up into a stand. So coming into our mountain pose, feet are about hip width apart. Let's stack the bones. So we've got our shoulders over our hips, our hips over our knees. The knees are nice and soft. Don't ever want to lock the knees. And the knees are over the ankles. We'll take a few breaths here, creating space for your alignment. Clasp the hands behind the back, roll the shoulders down, and just stretch from here. Stretch those shoulders back. Don't have to raise your arms. Deep breath here. Rolling those shoulders back, clenching those 
shoulder blades as close to each other as you can. And breathe. And then relax the arms to the sides as you inhale. Bringing the arms up, slight little back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Inward, halfway lift. Exhale, come into chair. And those knees nice and firm. Good. Exhale, back into forward fold. Inhale, bringing the arms up and back. Exhale, coming forward. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, sitting down in the chair. Good. Exhale, coming down. Inhale, walk your hands up the body. Coming up one vertebra at a time. The head is the last thing to come up. Good. So let's, uh, let's come into a little wider stance than hip width. So I would write about here. Yeah. And do a few squats. So bringing the hands to the heart center. In namaste hands, our knees are slightly bent. As you inhale, the arms come up, knees bend, we drop the torso down. Exhale, bring the hands back to the heart center. Inhale, coming up. Beautiful. Exhale, down. Inhale, hands coming up. Exhale, down. Inhale, coming up. Good. We'll do two more. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, last one we're going to hold. Inhale coming up. So we're just going to hold here for a couple of breaths. You can do this. You've got it. Woohoo! Exhale, hands back to the heart center. Shake it all out. Woo! Shake it all out. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so let's do a balance pose. So grounding the right foot into the mat, just feeling the earth supporting you. And then as you're ready, we'll bring that left knee up to wherever you want to be, or you can be right here at the uh, kickstand. We're gonna bring that left knee up. Oops, there, now you can see. Bring the left knee up. Your hands can be wherever you prefer. They can be out to the side, up, heart center. Bring the knee up and focus on something in the room. And breathe. Good. And then release that left knee. Ground that left foot into the mat. Want your hands to be as you're ready. Inhale and bring up that right knee. And your hands, your arms can be out to the side, wherever you're feeling it. Up, heart center, and breathe. Good. And then relax. Bring that right leg down. So let's do our joy breath. How about it? got to have the joy breath because we've got a new year. It's a new day and I wish you all so much joy, peace, and love in this new year. Got to be better than last year. Yeah, so as you're ready, 
Inhale, take the arms up, out, up, and through. 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 Joy, 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 joy. Up, out, up, and through. Up, out, up, and through. Yeah. So come on down to a relaxing seated position or if you would like to recline, I highly recommend that. Always have to rest the entire physiology when you do any form of exercise. So, however you're comfortable, closing your eyes, offering yourself some gratitude for your practice today. And I'm very grateful that you could join me, always. And then just bring your awareness back to your breath. Back to your breath. And always remember that the breath, focusing on the breath, can take your attention away from any kind of anxiety or any kind of things you're thinking that you shouldn't be thinking. Or the breath is our our best friend. Good. So I would like to leave you with a quote from Eckhart Tolle. And he's talking about being the moment, being present. And he says, we can learn not to keep situations or events alive in our minds but to return our attention continuously to the pristine, timeless present moment rather than be caught up in mental movie making. I love that. Our very presence then becomes our identity rather than our thoughts and emotions. So, with that, I will see you on Thursday at 9 o'clock as we continue to welcome the new year and do a lot of wonderful, stretchy, stress-releasing poses. So until then, remember to think peaceful thoughts, always speak kind words, and radiate as much love from your hearts as you possibly can. Wishing you all the very best in 2021 and sending love. Namaste.